So you have your three separate um, doughs, and so now we are going to braid them. So I'm going to show you how to braid. It's very simple. Um, just follow along, though. It's very simple. I promise. I promise. So what you're going to need to do is let me make sure I get the whole shot. There we go. Okay, so you're going to take the end pieces here. Now let's start here. Okay. So you're going to need to bring these together. So just kind of fold them um, into each other so they are connected. So when you bake it, it will have a strong base. Okay. So you have it like that. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. Bring it back a little bit. Make sure it is okay. Now I'm gonna take okay, take the farthest one to your right, flip it over the middle, flip it over the middle. Make sure they stay nice and apart. Now take your left one and flip it over the middle. And that is essentially how you braid, how you do a braid, a standard braid at that. Um, you're just taking the outside, flipping it over the middle. Then you take the outside, flip it over that middle. And even like a standard braid, like if you're braiding hair, that's exactly how, how that works. And try to make sure that the braid stays tight. You want to make, you know, you know, you want to make sure it is um, apparent when we, when we uh, bake it off. So take the end, cross it over, take the end, cross it over, take the end, cross over. I can actually go a little bit farther with this and pull this out a little bit more. Take the end, this end, cross it over, take the end, cross it over until you cannot do it anymore. Okay, and then once you've gotten to the end, take it, kind of mush it together and roll it underneath so it's a it has a flat base to it. And that, my good friends, my good nerds, my good everyones, is a braid. So you just made a braided bread. Good job. It's a little it's a little funky looking, doesn't matter, but essentially this is the look that you're going for. So there you go. You have a braided bread. Good job.